What's up world, Mr. Magna Ragnarok here, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy. In the last video, we got the Star Ruby from the Vampire, and in this video, we're going to head into Titan's Cave. So, let's just do that. Uh, hang on a second viewers, let me turn down my TV just a little. There, <laughs> you probably could have heard it a little. But anyways, um, when you get the Star Ruby, you want to come in here to Titan's Cave and give it to this large Titan right here. And we got some ogres to deal with, so let's take care of them real quick. How's everyone's day been going? Mine's been going great so far. To tell you the truth, viewers, I was supposed to get this done on February 6th, but because of some interruptions, I'm having to do this on February 9th instead. So yeah, that's the day this video is being recorded on, or I, say, or I should say video, since I'm going to record one more after this one. Really? Two steps? Okay, sorry about that viewers, I just had to get rid of that battle. God, that was annoying. Anyways, you want to talk to this giant right here. Is that a star ruby? Give me that and I'll let you through here. Okay, here you go. Wow. Nice ass shot, Square. Crunch, crunch, gulp. Mmm, nothing better than rubies. Okay, now where in the world did he go? There's nothing beyond that wall. I, I, I don't know. Um, anyways, I believe we need to go up here. Um, I believe this is the way we need to go. Yes, okay, it is. This is actually where we need to be. Oh, <laughs> ghoul and gas, really? Okay, fine, I'll deal with these guys real quick. Um... Something I should point out, I know I said in the last video I'd go back to Melman and meet you guys there at the very end of the last video, but um, we're not actually supposed to go back to Melman, we're supposed to go into Titan's Cave and give him that Star Ruby. However, off screen I did get Slow 2 for Shadow here, and at the same time I also got Life, well, I got Cure 3 as well. Um, I couldn't get Warp because, well... Shadow isn't a black wizard, he's a black mage, and we'll, we'll come back here later to get it. Trust me, viewers, we will be back to get it. And these enemies should die by one hit of Dia? Yes, they will! <laughs> nice. I love one-shotting enemies. Anyways, we need to head down here, and one of the villagers in Sada or not Sada, and Melman would tell you that a man named Sada lives in a cave near, well, at the southern tip of this land. So, we need to find the man, and this is basically the tip of the southern land right here. So, hopefully he's in here. Alright. And here is the Sage's Cave. Alright, so let's find a man named Sada real quick. Number one rule for RPGs, viewers. Always check the pots. Because <laughs> there might be an item or two in there. Wait, anything we're here? Nothing. What's the point of putting this part right here? I don't understand. Anyways, um... Ooh, anything? No. But yeah, this is Sada right here. The vampire was mere servant of the real culprit blocking the flow of the earth crystal's power. He is hiding deeper down. Take this staff and use it to, pro to probe beyond the vampire's chamber. We get the earth rod! So now we gotta go all the way back in the Terra Cavern where the vampire was. I love backtracking, isn't it? Don't you viewers? <laughs> nah, but anyways, um. Alright, I'm gonna cut back to when we get there, alright? So I'll see you guys in just a moment. 
Alright, we're back here where we were before when we fought the vampire and <laughs> it took me about 6,000 encounters later. Um, and you want to know what else screwed me over viewers? I ran into one of the cockatrice in this cave. Luckily I had a gold needle on me at the time, but one of the cockatrice actually stoned angels here. I was so pissed off. And I mean, look at my look at my next level experiences right there. 1860, 1860, 1984, 1860. Yeah, if you get stoned, not only are you useless for the entire battle, but you don't get any of the experience whatsoever. And that sucks. It literally does. All right, let's heal everybody real quick since God, I ran into like a lot of battles. Alright, and just cure zombie. Alright, we're good enough. Now now that we have the earth rod, we need to go through this door now. We could have gone through that door earlier, but to the end of this pathway, um, we couldn't go any further afterwards. Because you'll see why here very shortly, viewers. And I will also say this right now, viewers, um... <laughs> well, crap, what was I gonna say? I had something kinda important to say, but, um, now I forgot. Oh, yeah, um, this video is gonna be pretty short, by the way. There's not gonna be too much progress going on, but it will be for plot-wise, though. Uh, zombie, you're fine. Alright. A stone plate rests on the floor. It seems to emanate an evil force. Um, what? Okay, you just had to use the earth rod right there, right, right there and there. And it opens a floor. Now we're at the fourth floor basement of the Terra Cavern, so let's advance. We need to head to the 5th floor, by the way, viewers, because that's where we need to go. Oh, really? Oh, and I also forgot to mention, um, the second time you come back in here, um, there are more new enemies and a lot stronger ones as well, so... Kind of be careful. Um... Oh, crap. Angels, you just attack, I guess, and... Like, yeah, we're seeing the werewolves now, and they can poison you, you jerk. I hate you for that. Luckily, they don't have too much health, though. Heck, I'm pretty sure Angels and Shadow could actually take them out in one shot themselves. Um, Angels, if you can, get rid of Dragon's poison there. Or, never mind. We've already won the battle. <laughs> But yeah, hoping for one more level up before we fight the boss, hopefully. Spoiler alert, there's a boss coming up, guys. That we're gonna do in this video, anyways. I believe I'm heading the right way. I don't think I am, because there's a room right here. And usually there... When you head to a room, especially in this cave, they don't really take you anywhere except give you treasure chest. You jerk, I hate you. Paralyzing zombie like that. Alright, seriously, get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> Stop trying to kill zombie, please. What is it with the enemies and trying to get rid of zombie here? <laughs> Zombie, you've been taking a real beating, especially in this place. God, I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> Alright, good enough. <laughs> Even though he's already full now. <sighs> really? Three steps? Ooh, trolls! These are one of the rare enemies in this cave the second time you come back in here. 
these guys are pretty strong. <laughs> you got killed by shadows. They give out a lot of gill though, so they're really nice to farm off of. Yep, we have treasures in this room and we're gonna have to most likely battle them. Battle for them. And also we have a new enemy, the Ogre Mage. Um, these guys, I don't think they can use magic even though they're called mage. I know, kind of stupid as to why they give them mage if they- Oh wait, so they can use it. So they can use magic. Well that's a first, I've never seen them do that before. <laughs> well, I learned something new every day, viewers. Alright, fog. Um, you jerk. Luckily, this is only a temporary condition, so after the battle, it won't affect them. Okay, seriously? Get out of here, thank you. <laughs> and I think I'm close to a level up, I'm not sure. We get a staff. Uh, more of these guys? Okay, but oh yeah, these are also new enemies as well. They're the Hyena Dawn. Yeah, Hyena Dawns. <laughs> um, Angels, you can just attack, I guess. Ah, screw it. I'll just use Fire 3. I just want to end this battle quickly and move on. Yay! <laughs> One shot from Fire 3 again from Shadow. <laughs> 3,400 gil, okay, um, that was kind of worth getting. Alright, what do you got? Ooh, a Sphinx. Yep, a Sphinx. These guys have plenty of HP, decent amount of attack power, nothing really much to say about them. Um, Dragon, why aren't you doing much damage? You're kind of scaring me here. Okay, there you go. You're kind of scaring me there, not doing that much damage. And Dragon gained a level 29. Strength, Agility, Endurance. Zombie gained a level 4. Agility, Luck. Shadow gained a level 3. Intelligence. Yeah, you see, Angels would have gotten a level if he hadn't gotten stoned by a cockatrice. Hate those guys. 15, 20 gil. And is this chest going to be more gil? Uh, another Sphinx, really? Okay, fine. Okay, guys, you guys aren't dark anymore. I'll just let Dragon kill them. Okay, Angels gain a level now. Six. Agility, Intelligence, Endurance, Luck. Well, that was a pretty good level up. <laughs> 5,450 gil, okay. Um, well, so this room was kind of decent, worth checking, I guess. If you're wanting gil, that is. Uh, really, the goblin guards are in this place? Really? Okay. Oh, I I will gladly accept them being here, but kind of weird how weak enemies are in a strong area. Eh, but it's their choice. If they wish to die by my hands, I shall give them death. Yay, we win. Alright, so basically from here on out, any more battles we get into, I'm just gonna cut out. Alright, so, yeah. So anyways, um, yeah, we need to go up here. This takes us back to the third basement. Um, wait, what? What? Um... Did I just... Oh, I went backwards. God dang it. Hang on. I'll see you guys back up there. God. Um. Okay, yeah. We need to go down here. This is where we need to go. Now, hopefully, I will go the right way this time. 
this code bond. All right, fine. I'll show these guys real quick, and then definitely from here on out, I'm cutting them out. Jeez. I, I hate when I accidentally go back the way I came. I'm sorry, viewers, but it just really annoys me. Hey, we win. Alright, so now I believe we gotta go down. Or well actually wait, I think this just takes us Oh my god, why are there this why are there so many enemies? Nope, screw it, I'm running away. I don't wanna deal with this crap right now. Run away! Thank you. Alright, I believe maybe down here takes us to treasure, I think. Well, if we go down, but I don't really care. Oh, you son of a... Get out of here, cockatrice. You guys annoy the crap out of me. You stone freaking angels. Like, these are the... You can have the strongest team in Final Fantasy. But there's only one, there's always one status ailment that will always stop you. Okay, sorry about that. But there's always one status ailment that will stop you, and that's stone. Like, you can have the strongest Final Fantasy team in the game. And, like, you, there's always that one status ailment that will always stop you. Like, that's what I'm trying to say here. Like, yeah, it just takes one to get rid of many. Alright, come on, you die already. The Light of Judgment! Five points if you can guess what game I referenced, viewers. <laughs> I guess that's your question of the day right there, viewers. What is The Light of Judgment from? And I'll give you a hint, it's from a game that I love. And it's from, I would say it's somewhat from this particular series. Let's, let's just leave it at that. Really, get out of here, troll. Come on. Freaking troll. Troll. <laughs> Okay, here's where we need to go. Alright, we're finally at the basement fifth floor. Now, all you have to do here is just keep heading up and then take a ride right here. That's really it. This The fifth basement floor is just really a straight pattern to the boss, I guess you can say. <laughs> really is, viewers. Alright, seriously, get out of here. I said, get out of here. Foolish fool, do you really think you could win? Alright, head down here, head to the left, and in this room leads to the boss of this dungeon. Now, let us heal our team real quick, because I'm going to need it, most likely. Especially Shadow here, he's really beat up. Okay, um, our team is healed, we have... Uh, we still have most of our MP, and we're ready to go. Uh, I guess I can show you my status real quick. Um, there's there's dragon status, if you want to know what I'm wearing and such. Oh, and um, something I should point out, off screen, when I went back to Melmond, I there was an actual armory shop, and I actually got dragon there, the knight's armor. It costs about 36,000 gil to get, by the way. So, if you want it, it's, it's there. <laughs> 
I also got the silver armlet for both um, Zombie here, there's his stats, Angels, there's his stats, and Shadow, there's his stats as well. But yeah, other than that, um, that's our status, there's our equipment, let's fight the boss. Who speaks to me? I am the force withholding the power of the earth. Away with you, humans! One of the four fiends and the fiend of earth, this is the Lich. He's one of the major bosses in this game, and our third boss throughout this Let's Play project so far. Um, he has about 500 to 1000 HP, he has a very strong physical attack stats, and he has plenty of spells he can use on us. He has some ice spells, I know. I think he has Quake, and I believe he also has Bolt spells on us, on him, so try to be a little careful in this fight. Alright, we're gonna set up some spells on to support our party here. I'm gonna set up a shield on the zombie. And I'm gonna have haste on zombie as well. Cause this guy can really hurt if you're not prepared. Oh, there goes ice too right there. Okay, that didn't do as too much as I thought it would. Alright, um, you just keep attacking, same goes for you. Angels, you pull up a no ice, so that way we'll take half the damage from his ice spells. And, uh, Shadow, you can use steel on zombie there. So that way his physical attack stats will go up. Something else I should point out as well, um, Steel, you can keep staggering it. Like, you can keep stacking it. Oh, Sleep too. don't you dare put him to sleep. Oh, you jerk. You jerk, I hate you, brah. Alright, um, let's put up a shield for, uh, Shadow there. And, Shadow, you put Steel on Dragon. Oh crap, haste. Um, I was hoping he wouldn't do that. I forgot he has haste as well. Alright, good. He's up there, and now we need to uh, attack, attack, and um, angels, I guess you can put shield on yourself. Wow. Or while well, Shadow, you use haste on Dragon. Yeah, 335. Bolt 2. Oh, crap. Yeah, I was right. He does have Bolt. Oh, shoot. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> I think he has around 750 to 1000 HP, actually, not 500. I know for a fact I did more than 500 damage to this guy. But yeah, um, I think he actually has around more than 1,000 if you're playing the um, original version. Basically most of this game is more difficult if you're playing this on the original version. Holy crap, a lot of <laughs> But yes, now that we've defeated the Fiend of Earth, we have rescued one of the crystals, powers... <laughs> so derby. It looks so derby how they're doing that. Um, okay. I was about to say, are you done cheering? Because. Alright, uh. Yep, as you can see right there on the bottom right corner, we have one of the crystals' powers return. Uh, angels, can you kill everybody? 
please. <laughs> I'm kind of concerned for their health. Alright, um... But anyways, now that we've restored one of the crystal's powers... Um... I think we're gonna end things off here. Yeah, I know, this video is gonna be kind of short, but... Yeah, there's going to be much progress done in this recording session, trust me, viewers. So, we're gonna end things off here. So next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy, we will head to a new town and continue on with the plot. Anyways, see you guys then.